Welcome to Sydney, Australia, site of the NFL's 2012 All-Star Game. Hello, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us down under. I'm Van Earl Wright, proud to be standing alongside former SEC and NFL quarterback Bobby Huco. Bobby, what a great time to be a part of the fastest-growing sports league in the U.S., and now the growth continues. The LFL has gone global, proven by the fact that we're in Sydney, Australia. Absolutely, Van Earl, and what a showcase of LFL All-Stars we have tonight. As an ex-quarterback, I hate to say it, but I have to talk about the two defensive field generals on the field tonight. First, from Los Angeles, the Temptations, Tessa Barrera, who has really emerged as a part of the Silver and Black Championship attack. She has great motor and superb instincts. Second, and she really needs no introduction to LFL fans, the three-time Defensive Player of the Year and easily most dominant defender of our game, Tampa's Liz Gorman. Look for both those girls to have a major impact in the game tonight, man. Right now, we want to introduce the third member of our broadcast team, Lauren Gardner. Well, thank you very much, Van Earl. We we'll start with Tessa Barrera of the West. Tessa, you're no stranger to these big-time situations. This place is packed. Any butterflies? No butterflies. I want to put a smile on each fan in this building. Look at this place. I want to. I want these fans to have a good time, and this is what I have a good time doing. Not already. Do not think you're going to disappoint. Best of luck. Lauren Ziegler, Lauren, you're coming off of a fantastic season in Orlando. What is it like to be on this big stage here tonight? You know what? It is simply amazing to be in such an uh, atmosphere like this with such an amazing people, such great athletes, and it's just a blessing to have the opportunity to be in Sydney, Australia right now to represent Orlando and the state of Florida to be with the United States right now. Thank you very much, Lauren. Best of luck, Lauren. Excited to see this big show in the land down under, Van Earl. Lauren Gardner, thank you so very much. The excitement is building here at the All Bones Arena in Sydney, Australia. The passive crowd anxiously awaiting the kickoff of this LFL All-Star Game. The Western Conference will be kicking off to the Eastern Conference. That is Tamar Fennell on the Cleveland Rush. She is back to the return. Center. And the rest of the offensive line. You got it. Tons of time. Oh, yeah. 
After this is the goal, we play the try. They could come back right with that same play. Trips right, give it to DeHaven, and she can run right in it just easy. Right like that, man. And that's exactly what she does. Good for a two-point conversion. So the Eastern Conference answers very quickly. Wild catch that. Greg snap right to DeHaven. That's unstoppable. You got three blockers right in front. You cannot stop that for less than one yard. for the Western Conference. A big blitz. Salerno just had to get up, get, get rid of it right there. Wow, they That's brought the house. Everybody came in. Four players came in on that blitz. Salerno had nothing to do. A smart quarterback. That shows why she was the lingerie ball MVP. She had nothing there. Just threw the ball out of bounds. Second and ten now for Salerno in the Western Conference. In their own territory. Confusion going on in the setup. Toss to Jessica Hopkins. Good strong run, tackled by Lauren Chicken. The is going to Lauren Gardner. Well, guys, interesting to know on that last conversion for the East that Kyle DeHaven was lined up at the quarterback position. That is a strategy that head coach Taylor Brown has used with the Philadelphia Passion with Mary Rose Roach. He knows that she's not going to pass, but she can get those yards and get across for those extra points. Thank you, Lauren. Third down, five to go for Salerno in the Western Conference. Salerno keeping it herself, moving out to the right side. Oh, oh just making the would-be tackle pay with dropping her shoulder into the defender. That is fast foul football right there. I'll tell you what, you got the Haven. All the muscle players will play both sides of the ball. And Salerno, a monster of her own right, went head to head. Great football man, Earl. Fourth and two for the Western Conference. That's Salerno, under center. Oh, quarterback sneak. And with fourth and two, and the LFL rule that exists where the, the defensive line has to line up. The three yards to the line of scrimmage, that's pretty much an open error in the call. They're going to have to take that. I think next year, the commission, the commission has to get rid of that rule. It's an automatic first down, three yards off the ball. Quarterback sneak, you're going to get three yards. Absolutely. First and ten for the West, Salerno from the shotgun. Yeah. Got him, over the middle. But the uh, two receivers, would-be receivers, well covered. Actually, that was a great throw by Salerno. Chloe Butler, you gotta lay out for that ball. The ball, that's like I remember Randy Moss, not diving the ball, but he's playing. He got to go out that ball. That would have been a huge play for the Western Conference. And you would think Chloe Butler being the LFL ambassador, to our home country of Australia. Play out. There's Chloe Butler again, taking the handoff. Come on, get out of here. Number seven, the LC. Chloe Butler, give it to
quarterback take when the quarterback is down on the trail has, it's going to make it. And that results in the first down as we approach the final minute of play here in the first quarter. Delano working from the shotgun. Downfield wide open. Sydney rolling of the Minnesota Valkyrie. All six foot one inch of Sydney. That's appropriate. And Sydney Nolan gets the touchdown pass to the Sydney Australian face play. They set that up. They've been running the quarterback screen. Delano face right. Comes back to big country rolling. What an athlete. As you can tell, he's trying to the side left ball. Wide open that time. So the West with an answer to the East as they go up 12 to 8 here in the final seconds of the first quarter. The conversion opportunity for Salerno and the Western Conference. Look, oh, not now. Courtney Wilder with a great pass rush on Ashley Salerno denying the Western Conference of any points after their second touchdown. Courtney Wilder, one of the greatest players in the league, who's so unknown on the radar. Here in the final seconds of the first quarter. KK. Caught by Courtney Wilder. Playing defense and offense. Bobby didn't play with Courtney Wilder's dad. Her dad was a superstar in the NFL. Went to Missouri with a running back. He felt like a piece of granite. He felt like he had his brother. He was the number one recruiter for Clark Davis. You get just focus on seven or eight seconds. Jesus in that family. Clock is at zero. That's the end of the first quarter. Media timeout. Of the first quarter with the East up, eight to six. We are in Sydney, Australia, as you take a look at the end of the first quarter. The bridge. And we continue with the second quarter of this LFL All-Star game in Sydney. KK Matheny in the Eastern Conference. KK, plenty of time. Oh! Went to a safety valve on the right side. Wait for somebody to open up downfield. She's still got time. Tries to dump it, dumps it off to Wilder. Only gets two cards, but points in the pocket. Now second and Matheny and the Eastern Conference from the shotgun. KK going for it. Oh, had Wilder wide open for the score, but just a little bit too far. KK would love to have that one back. A little bit too jacked up. First one of the big Wilder breaking wide open down the team. Oh, and the safety. KK came in. Oh, it's really wow. Best opportunity right here for Wilder. KK would be at the Eastern Conference. Remember that one. That one might come back in a mono panel. Oh, that was easy money right there. Third down, eight yards to go for the Eastern All-Star. Oh, showing pass, but instead handed it off to Tamar Fennell. Off the draw play. One more down, guys. One more down. Good One job. more. Let's go. Let's go. Jason Barrera on defense for the Western All-Stars. They were hoping they were hoping they could get these like that. But they went to draw play. Fennell plowing through the Western line, showing why she is the top back. From Cleveland, look for her next year to be all league again. Mark Fennell, 5'3", 125 pounds, and very impressive in this all-star season for the LFL. Now a fourth and three. Remember, hunting, not an option in the LFL. KK, oh, almost picked up that time by Tamika Estrella. Couldn't hold on to the ball. Missed opportunity defensively, but the ball still turned over on down, so the Western Conference will regain possession. Quarterback Ashley Soriano for the West. Let's go, Maddie. Throw it. Oh, Throw it. oh, oh great beautiful great. touch. Sunshine Yuli with the catch and the score. Touchdown Western Conference. Beautiful pass by Soriano. What a read by Soriano. Unbelievable, man. Western Conference goes up and increases their lead to 10 
points. 18 to 8. Now setting up for the conversion and point after. For these conversions, Bobby Biz usually likes to go with the quarterback keeper. Yes, he does. Here we go again. There's the motion. And that's what happens. Solano right at the doorstep. No signal from the ref. He didn't get no it. No good. Denied by the ball that was put up by the initial conference defenders. So the score remains 18-8. And Solano is denied on the conversion drive. You know we run that play. So many times. You know that's going to go. Big run that play. Every extra point. Finally, the conference. A whole new play. Get on with that Seven minutes left here in the second quarter. We are in Sydney, Australia, as KK Matheny, the quarterback for the Eastern Conference, parks out, signals for her teammates. KK, Got her. oh! Looks like the receiver wasn't even looking back. That was a poor throw by Matheny. KK had her open. Jessica Hopkins almost came up with a pick there. She's a ball hawk out there. She waited too long. Throw it quicker. She got her knee. Let her inside too instead of keeping it out by the sideline. The play was there. The execution was nine. Absolutely. Four throw. Like a wounded duck. Second and ten for the Eastern Conference. Kyle DeHaven in the backfield and she gets the football handed off to her by Matini. Good run by Kyle DeHaven in the Baltimore Charm. That's good for a first down for the Eastern Conference. And he was showing why he's going to leave that team. Let's make the Eastern Conference on that pass. Let's hop into the face and come up. But not before the Haven right there. Turn to the corner. He gets a big chunk of yard. Less than six minutes to go here in the first half. They were going to go. We thought we were motion. We're going to go. Maybe this time under center of the Eastern Squad. Quick handoff to the Haven. Gain of five yards. He went to the Eiffel Center now. The quick handoff to Eddie and Eddie Earl. Came up and made a great sack. The secondary, a new look right here. The eye formation, we haven't seen that yet. Second and five. Eastern Conference. This crowd is rough. A.K. Matheny looks totally in charge, totally in command of what she has to do. Hand it off to Tamar Fennell. Fennell tackled high, but it looks like she has enough for the first down. Again, Eastern Conference head coach Chandler Brown keeping it on the ground. What a combination right there when you have Fennell and the Haven in the same back. No wonder he's not throwing the ball. There's Chandler looking good right there on the sideline. It was good enough for the first down, so it'll be first and ten for Medina and the Eastern Conference. From the shotgun. Just pick up on the pass rush, and Medina just had to throw it away. Kyle DeHaven with a great block. Watch the block, Andrew. KK drops back. DeHaven picks up the blitz. DeHaven KK goes outside. Nobody there. He throws that out bounds. Smart play by KK Matheny. Matheny has thrown a couple of poor balls, but her intelligence and her poise is very impressive. Second and ten. Number seven. Kyle DeHaven with another strong run. Third down, Eastern Conference. I don't blame Chandler Brown. The way to hate the Haven the ball, as I mentioned, she was the league MVP and she was going it tonight. This was Let's serious. Get it. Three it. Kyle you South Wales! You South Wales! Three and a half minutes you left here. You South Wales! You South Wales! Cam Warner of the Seattle Bits, 37 years of age. Come on, come on! A.K. Matheny, quarterback for the East, under center. Going to the end zone. Throwing to a spot. And her intended receiver, Brent Brenda, and her Tampa teammate, not there. Incomplete for the Eastern Conference. Actually, it was a great pass by KK Matheny. The coverage actually had Brent Brenda covered, but there's only one place to throw the ball in the court end zone, hoping to bring the layout for it. It didn't happen, but KK was the only place to throw the ball in the Fourth and five for the Eastern Conference again. Field goals and 
punts, not an option. As you take a look at Teres Tessa Barrera, the ferocious defender for the Western All-Stars. Fourth and five, but then zip pass to Kyle DeHaven, and she scores. Her strength and perseverance got her into the end zone. Great pass, great finish by Kyle DeHaven. Touchdown, Eastern Conference. Great ball by Chandler Brown. You gotta get the ball to Kyle DeHaven. KK Matheny, squeeze in the pocket. Hits her on an underneath round like that, and Kyle DeHaven does the rest. So it's up two and a half minutes left. Impressive drive for the Eastern Conference against Chloe Butler and the Western All-Stars. That's the Haven in the Wildcats. For the conversion opportunity, Chloe E got in. She gets it in. One point is here. Three-point game. Go, 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 go. We got a reverse. Reverse to Amber Reed. Streaking down the right sideline. Nice call. Nice pickup for the Western Cup. And Earl, they're going at it down there. Hey, look, Lauren Ziegler happens to be in the middle of it. Sometimes I think that football is a meeting ritual. We are at the two minute warning. Australia. Western Conference still in command. At the three point lead, as you take a look at one of the most iconic buildings in all of the world. Let's see the operation on the Open in 1973. Liz Gorman and the Eastern Conference All Stars getting ready to stop, or try to stop, Ashley Salerno and the Western Conference All Stars. Salerno back to pass, looking right. Look, got her. Oh! to Salerno and the LA Temptation. Second and 10 now for the Western Conference. Tamika Estrella out the pig and hit hard by Liz Corbin. Let's hear how hard. That's Gorman still on the ground, feeling the pain from delivering that hard hit to Tamika Estrella, but she's back in action. Another reverse for the West. And for Reed, this one not working quite as successfully as the previous one. Little scrum on the sideline. Peter, we got a ball game going here. The East defense is amped up. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what hell is on the The East, they want to win this game bad. And we got another fourth and two situation, Bobby. I think we know what's coming for the Western Conference. I think you're talking about the quarterback sneak, probably. As we play the final minute of the first half here in Sydney. Go, go, go! There it is. Again, as we mentioned before, the state's defensive line has to line up three yards off the line of scrimmage. And Salerno frantically calls for a timeout. And Sparks is the umpire. The umpire says, don't fuck to me like wow. that, young lady. If I was him, I would not miss with Salerno. I agree. That's the one in the division. It's first and ten for the Western Conference. 36 seconds left in the first half. Salerno from the gun. Going up top to Sydney Fuller. Yes! Caught! Touchdown! Western Conference. Sydney Fuller. Great catch and another great throw by Ashley Salerno. This catch is unbelievable. Great pass by Salerno. Look at this throw. Oh, yeah, man. An epic catch. I don't think I've seen anything in all my years of Yale so up and not seen a catch like that, man. That was beautiful on the fingertips. 24-15 Western Conference trying for the conversion. It is good. That makes it 25 to 15. 
And we're playing a short solo with 27 seconds left here in the first half. Every time you think the Eastern Conference is back in the ballgame, the gun player actually the narrow is coming back. Let's see if KK Mazzini and the Eastern All-Stars can answer and put some points on the board before the midway point of this All-Star game. Going here! Looking for it all, but off the mark. She really does. She's only 5 2 banner, but I'll tell you what, she can hum it all over the field. Second and 10. Athene barking out the center. High snap. Trouble pass. Star Fidel, the recipient. Again, big hit there delivered by Andy Earl. This might be. Two. This should be the last play of the first half. Athene. Rolling it up and deep, but picked off. Picked off by Jessica Hopkins. Find some running room as she crosses the field, but gets right into the ball. That will do it for the first half. It is a point advantage for the Western Conference All Star. We have reached the midway point of this NFL All Star game in Sydney, Australia, and the West Coast by 10. Well, guys, I was able to speak with head coach for the East team, 
Chandler Brown about what he liked and didn't like about that first half defensively. He loved the line play, said they were aggressive and effective offensively, was not thrilled at all with the passing game, so he needed to complete those two passes. That's the only way we're going to walk away with the W. And speaking of passing, KJ McVinney throwing it up. Look at the strength from Harris. 
picking up 13 yards on that first down. Or another first down. Enzo Ferrari, watch her legs. Look how powerful. She carries four girls right here. This is unbelievable. Four girls cannot get her. Five girls can't get her down, Van Earl. That is a lot of power. Deep in the shotgun for Ashley Salerno. Over the middle. Hot. Christine Moore of the Seattle Miss. Christine is the center for the Western Conference All-Stars. But they are eligible pass receivers. Good pickup of nine yards. Great read by Salerno right there. That was a blitz, actually. It was read by the center, Christine Moore and Salerno. As soon as the blitz went by, Christine Moore releases. Salerno hits the right in the chest. Great read by both players. Second and short for Salerno and the Western Conference. Oh! Christelle Harris did not take the pitch. The running back was just too close to the quarterback. Absolutely, Van Earl. Time to go on more horizontal to get the sweep. Watch right now. There's nowhere to pitch the ball. Sit up to the line. Sit going up. Sit out. Big play for the team right there. Let's go on. Now facing a third and eight. Salerno under center. We'll play action. Looking left. Scrambling, looking right. Caught. Sunshine Uli. Those two are proven to be a dynamic duo of the Western Conference. Lots of solutions from Salerno. Ashley Salerno showing right there why she was the end. Let's go. Let's go. LA to two championships. Like Tom Brady, poised in the pocket, checks down, hits Julie out in the flat. Great play by Ashley Florida. Able to pick up the first down, so a fresh set of downs for the Western Conference. Go, go, go. Ugly reverse in the backfield and the rebound and a nice cut. She's gone. She's in. She's got a touchdown. Amber Reed up the reverse. A head swinging, head banging. Wait a second, we got a flag. Looks like this one's coming back. Five yards in the side of the ball. The down. Yeah, we're trying to reach the end of the era. Oh, they have a play again, Bob. They want to make some noise. Amber Reed, great in face, man. Takes it in for a touchdown. So we got a first and 15 after the five yard holding penalty against the Western Conference. Oh, big, big rush. Liz Gorman coming in from her safety position and taking down Salerno. You can tell right there why Liz Gorman, watch this, man. Oh, this is not even a legal move. Liz Gorman, you can tell why she, she was off county soccer player. He just kicked her and knocked her down. And that's why Salerno was looking at the ref like, why is there no flag on that side? Where were the refs on that one? Eight yard loss, second and 23. Final seconds of the third quarter. Salerno again to Sunshine Uli. First down. A beautiful yeah, pass baby. play for the Western Conference. Yeah, baby. That will be the last play of this third quarter. Final 10 minutes of action in this LFL All-Star game from Sydney, Australia. Ashley Salerno of the Western Conference All-Star. Trying to build on their eight point lead. Big rush by Lauren Ziegler and a great sack right there for the Eastern Conference defense. Salerno trying to change it up. They can run into the set to the right where she runs the quarterback to the right. Watch this, you know. She goes the opposite way, short side of the field. Lauren Ziegler's having nothing to do with it. Great play by Ziegler. So after the good protection of the line, they got him in the scoring range just now. First and goal from the 13. For Salerno and the Western Conference. Back to throw. Oh, big rush. Wow, Liz Gorman stripping the ball. Picked up by Cal DeHaven. The play is still alive. And finally, back to the sideline wall. Great play by Liz Flash Gorman. Bring it in, Bob. Flash Gordon up 
tell you what, she has come to play here in the second half, Ann Earl. Putting her Eastern Conference All-Star teammates on her back. And now, the Eastern Conference teams. The first down after the turnover. Jamar Fernell with the short run. The Western Conference is a high team favorite team today. The Eastern Conference right now is one score for tying this up, Ann Earl. Plenty of time left. Second and six. Tamar Fennell and the Eastern Conference. Hand off to Tamar. Oh, there it is! There it is! Touchdown Eastern Conference, but you saw the flag fly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Holding, holding, Marco number 10. Five yards from the previous spot. He's second down. They, they have been their own worst enemy. Another offensive penalty. The Gators, that touchdown run by Jamar Fennell. I didn't see it, man, Earl. I can't believe they called that back. Finally, the Eastern Conference is going to tie the ball game. The ref called it back. Jake the ball, man, Earl. Now second and 11 for the Eastern Conference. They still are in quality position to tie this ball game. K.K. McKinney marking out signals for her offensive teammates. Oh, another oh, no. bad snap. Matheny throws it away. Man, oh man, oh man. Unbelievable. They're in the doorstep. They were in the end zone and they're going backwards. Jenna White was all time to have a bad snap. I don't know if it's because KK's only 5 2 or what. But you did not make that kind of mistake at that time of the game. What do you want? What do you want? Now, third and 11. the seven minute mark of this fourth period. Matheny to Petrozulio, pass way too far, out of bounds. Now it's gonna be four. KK Matheny right now, I'd have her rate as third best quarterback in the NFL. To break into the top two, she's gonna have to, in these kind of situations, she has to come up with a big play. Come on. She's got to make something on. happen. And these kind of the games, playing with the top players, it's time for KK to be to step up. Again, the Eastern Conference trying to take advantage of that huge play by Liz Flash Gorman, producing the turnover. On fourth and 11, Matheny over to Sage Stein Metzler. But Agam Shishindu. The nine, nine bets for and the Eastern Conference, so the ball will be turned over on down. I like the idea of getting the ball to Stein that she can take it over for a first down or a touchdown, but they got to get to the yard marker. You got to get the first down first. Turns the corner, 
unbelievable talent. Her legs are like going gambling. It's fourth and one, so again, the predictable quarterback sweep for the Western Conference, and Salerno able to come up with the first down. You gotta hand it, Coach Biz. He will use that and use that until the league office you know changes the rules about the three-yard cushion. Fourth and one, fourth or two, they're going to do the quarterback sneak. Look at Liz Flash Wilson. Working hard, full of intensity, trying to stop Salerno and the Western All-Stars. From the shotgun, Salerno. Big pass rush, and there's Gorman again. The huge takedown. Gorman is putting her team on her back and trying to do it all by herself. Flash board. She should be tenacious. Unbelievable. She is so tenacious. Look at that. She actually didn't flip. She came through. She came up from the inside. Jack Solero. Liz Gorman is all over the field in the second half. Lost of four yards on the play. We're going to get behind the Blues. Come on. Second and 14. The pitch to Christelle Harris. Oh, and again, Gorman out of nowhere shed the block and making the big tackle. And pocket tracks. Talk about a textbook move here by Liz Gorman. Flash forward, she shed off the blocker. And then he watch this. She is blocked. You think she's out of it? She shed the blocker, made the four tackle. You can't write that up any better in the book than that. And that is a big running back of Christelle Harris. Gorman is breaking down with ease. Gorman and the Eastern Conference defenders ready to go, as is the Western Conference. Oh, look at that! Double pass! Yes, to Nikki Johnson, and then the Sunshine beautifully, beautifully executed trick play for the Western Conference. Great throw by Coach Gage. He got the two top quarterbacks in the game. He lined up in the I formation. by the Western Conference offense to keep this drive alive as we approach the two minutes mark. Looks like they're not going to be able to get off the play in time. They should have stopped the clock right there, Venerable. Absolutely. The refs are going to let the action continue for one more play. Christelle Harris is the pitch right there, but refs missed that right there. They should have just stopped it in two minutes before the all the staff. Warren Ziegler, the Eastern Conference All-Stars, trying to stop the West. Another look at beautiful downtown City, Australia. Warren Ziegler, and the Eastern Conference, need to put up a wall against Ashley Salerno and the Western All-Stars. Salerno on the keeper. Beautiful cutback and a score. Look at the team over. Wow. How about that? Salerno right there, taking the ball, taking the game in her own hands, facing quarterback swing, great cutback, sees the opening, gets in the scores, and does the We don't want it, we don't want it, what happened? That is impressive from Salerno. 90 seconds left, it's a 31-17 Western Conference ball game. As the Western All-Stars try for the conversion after four pass picked off by Lauren Ziegler. Oh, it's getting chippy down there. Oh, I'm scared, Grinch. Look at the score. I'm super scared. I'm super scared. Yeah, fuck you are. On your back, just like always. Wow. Tessa Barrera holds nothing Go, go, Alden. Go, Alden. Yes. Man alive. Big pass rush right there by Alden Shippy. Forcing KK to finish this and throw it away. Their first down as they try to rally here in the final few seconds of the ball game, Bobby. With Agu and Tessa Pereira, <laughs> LA's got two of the meanest ladies in the LFL. Second and ten for the Eastern All-Stars. Matheny going good, but off the mark. And out of bounds. You have to keep that ball to the middle. KK looking for the quick snap in the hurry up offense. No Scrambling around, tucking it under. Oh! Taking the big hit that time from Cam Warner. Looked like KK got a stop in the track. She sure did. Cam Warner, this might be her last hit of her career. 
move. That should have been a fumble as well, but the referees did not rule it as such. Eastern Conference maintains position. Tamar Fernell off the draw play. And another hard tackle from the Western defense. They have to do something really quick. The way the LFL game is designed, it stays poor. They have a chance to get back in the game, but they got to get up the line and make something happen. Some 30 seconds left. Buffini trying to pull off the heroics. Flag is flying. Beautiful completion right there to save Steinmetz. First and five. Okay. Okay. After the flag. But Danny scrambling around, putting it up. Oh, but incomplete. KK Matheny is playing like the number one quarterback in the NFL. Yeah. Scrambling around, trying to find an open receiver, yeah. make something happen. She finds Brasilio in the end zone, and she drops the ball. 13 seconds left. Matheny to Steinmetz. Touchdown Eastern Conference. But do they have enough time left to grab an onside kick and tie this ball game? Either way, Steinmetz is going to do the Gator as a touchdown celebration. This game isn't over right here. KT Mathini, what a drive, what a pass, what a catch by Steinmetz. This game is not over, Van Earl. They get an onside kick, who knows? 8.9 seconds left as the Eastern Conference lines up for that, on, for that conversion before the onside kick. Get a little ahead of myself here. Direct snap to the Haven, easily in to make it a seven point ball game and 31 24. Give it to the league MVP, Kyle the Haven, now with 6.9 seconds. If Lynn Corbin can do one for patented onside kicks and the East can somehow recover, they have a shot. Do they have enough time to do both an onside kick and still have time for one play? Absolutely, 6.9. This will be wonderful. If with the onside kick. Oh, look out there, look out there. Unable to grab it. It's down the floor. I think the East got it. Floor. We're in Australia and we got a scrub to see if we can get overtime in this All-Star game. I think both benches are involved in this. I think the East got it. Everybody knows the field. I think that if I was right, I think the East got it. I know you've never been down at the bottom of one of those finals.